Happy Saturday. How you doing? How do I look? How do I look for Saturday, huh? I've been up since 5.30 this morning. I get up early, get started, do my research, do my reading. How many of you know it takes a lot to put these on and produce these and get these videos ready and the podcast too, huh? Our podcast is really catching on. We've got a lot of people listening to that podcast. Go to cpnshows.com, the Charisma Network, cpnshows.com. Amen. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Do you believe that? I believe that, that the rest of my life. And every night before we go to bed, I always say, tomorrow will be better than today. If you can believe that. Amen. Tomorrow will be better than today. I'm getting better looking every day. I'm getting smarter every day. I'm getting stronger every day. I'm getting quicker every day. My mind is quick and sharp. Amen. Hallelujah. I will never be deceived. I have the spirit of wisdom, revelation, knowledge, and favor. Start talking like that. I am rich, getting richer every day. The Lord increases me more and more, me and my children. Amen. Start talking like that. God opens up his good treasures to me. Start talking like that. Huh? Hey, I want to talk to you today about three ways to get healed by God. Amen. Turn to Mark chapter one. Turn to Mark chapter one. Turn to Mark chapter one. Three ways to get healed by God. And all three of these ways are God's healing. Amen. So uh, turn to Mark chapter one. And while you're turning there, don't forget about our website, increasenow.com. My phone number is there. You can call me if you need prayer today. Even on Saturday, I'm ready to pray with people. I pray with people on Sunday night. Amen. I am always ready to pray with God's people. Even if I am out for dinner, I will answer the phone if I can, if it's not too noisy in there. Because I love to pray with God's people. And I believe that everybody who calls, that I believe if you partner with a ministry, you should have access to the minister. And all of our partners do. Amen. I know some of these big ministries, They there's so many people, they can't give everybody access. But our ministry is big and getting bigger all the time. But I am still giving people access. Amen. So I say glory to God to that. Also, when you do your offerings and donations today, if you forgot about it on yes, yesterday, yesterday was offering day. If you forgot, you can do it today. And... Uh, well, I want to speak a blessing over you for your offering and for your tithe. Amen. How Three ways to get healed by God. Number one, naturally. Number one, naturally. How many of you know that God designed your body to heal itself? Inside your body are white blood cells, red blood cells that carry nourishment and healing out to your muscles and joints and bones. If you are sick and you have an infection, the white blood cells in your blood will rush to that area and they'll start producing more white blood cells to fight the infections. That is a natural way. And a lot of people like to get healed. Uh, I used to have a friend and I haven't seen him for a long time, but he was a, a doctor. And young family, and they had a little girl, and he used to always tell me, he says, that if, if she gets sick, he said, I would let her, I let her fight it before I give her any antibiotics. He wouldn't just jump in and give his own child antibiotics. He would let her fight the infection herself. Amen. And then if she was, seemed like she's getting overwhelmed or something, then he would give her antibiotics. And he wanted to do that with all the children. He would let, he, he felt like it was better if they got themselves healed naturally. 
Your body was designed by God. How many of you know that we are fearfully and wonderfully made? We are. The, it, bodies, even the bodies of animals and, and reptiles and everything, all bodies, God designed bodies to heal. Amen? Even if, like a, an alligator, if he, he scrapes his hide, that hide will heal. We see manatees all the time out here in the water. Some of them have these big scars on their back from getting hit by boat propellers, but they've healed. Amen? It's like, it's like God heals them. Healing is progressive. Amen? The number two way to get healed is go to the doctor. I believe doctors are a gift from God. However, a word of caution, do not depend on the doctors. We don't depend on any other person for anything. God wants to be our total source of supply for everything. So when you go to the doctor, you can go to the doctor and I tell people, have the doctor treat the symptoms, but remember that God does the healing. Amen? God does the healing. But sometimes antibiotics can give you a boost. Sometimes the doctor needs to set the arm. Amen? If you if you break your arm, go and have it put back in place. And then God will heal it. Amen? The doctor doesn't, he can't heal, but he can help the symptoms. Amen? He doesn't have the healing power, but he has the symptoms. I mean, he can, he can treat the symptoms. So go to the doctor. Let me, I just want to say one thing, and this is a little bit controversial because some people get off on the deep end with this, but it is not a lack of faith to go to the doctor. It was a very well-known musician in our area a few years ago. And he had pains in his stomach. And his friends told him that if he went to the doctor, that would be a lack of faith. And he was sick for five years. And if, for his friends kept saying, you already have enough faith for healing. You have faith. You have faith. He didn't. He didn't have faith. They said, you can't go to the doctor. That'd be a lack of faith. By the time he came to us, he was full of cancer, in great pain, totally confused, and very angry. He had been deceived. Had he gone to the doctor when he first had those pains, he'd still be alive today. Then I tried to put him on a program of increasing his faith for healing. His friend said, you don't need to do that. You already have faith for healing. He didn't. And he died. A horrible, horrible death in a room full of famous musicians. Very some very famous musicians were there. Oh my goodness, folks. I'm telling you what, if you're sick, go to the doctor, but depend on God to do the healing. Number three is have God heal you. Have God heal you. You can do this before you go to the doctor. Amen? Or you can do this when the doctor says, there's nothing more we can do for you. All sickness... And all disease, according to Deuteronomy chapter 28, is part of the curse of the law. And we are redeemed from that. Illnesses such as heart disease, cancer, arthritis, a lot of these other diseases are what we call hereditary. But the word hereditary really means generational. And if it's bad, it's a curse. It's a generational curse of sickness and disease. The way to get healed is to break those generational curses. I do this every single day. If you call me with an illness, such as arthritis, heart disease, cancer, or anything like that, the first thing I'm going to do is break that generational curse. 
when the curses are broken, that removes the, the legal right for sickness to be in your body. Sickness actually has a legal right to be in your body if there's a curse present. Amen. But once we remove that curse, once we break that curse, then sickness no longer has a legal right to be in your body, so it has to leave. And it will. And we tell those evil spirits of infirmity to come out. And if somebody's on their deathbed or somebody's dying or somebody has a terminal illness, I will tell the spirit of death to leave them. Because if there's a spirit of death there, I can see it. Sometimes I can see it. And I tell it to leave. And I mean, it can come on so subtle. I had a very famous pastor of a huge church called me when he had cancer in his bones, had spread to his bones. He looked perfectly normal, but I knew he had a spirit of death on him. I told the spirit of death to leave. I broke the curses, told those spirits to come out, put my hand on him and said, be healed in Jesus' name. And guess what? Here we are four years later and he is in perfect health. He got healed. Glory to God. Now, that's a person who knew that the doctors could not save him. So he called me, bought me a ticket to come there. Amen. And I ministered in his church too. And he was totally healed. I say glory to God. Isn't that wonderful? I've had other people buy me airplane tickets. Amen. You don't really need to do that because I can get you healed right over the phone. Just as easy. Glory to God, huh? Hallelujah. Three ways to get healed by God. Number one, your body will heal naturally. Number two, let the doctor help you. Doctors are a gift from God. And number three, God alone. When the doctors say they can't do anything more, have God heal you. Doctors can't heal arthritis. They just treat it. Doctors cannot heal cancer. They just treat it. Doctors can't heal heart disease. They just treat it and keep you alive as long as they can. But they can't cure it. But God can. I've had several people get brand new hearts. Brand new hearts. One was a young man who had had a massive heart attack. That was hereditary with him because his dad died at the age of 32 from a heart attack. He was healed. Totally healed. Glory to God. Hey, don't forget, if you do offerings and donations today because you missed offering day, don't forget to call me because I want to speak the blessing over you. Amen. Glory to God. Call me also if you need prayers answered today. Share this video with everybody you know. I want everybody to live a healthy, abundant life. And let me tell you something, folks. We have the knowledge and the power of God to make it happen in your life. Just call me. I'll prove it to you. Have a wonderful day. I love you very much. And I'll see you right back here again Monday.